She has a certain fascination with crows. Crows live amongst us and watch us. They're very socially complex creatures. Yeah, and Jesus. Yeah, and I love it. And I love the way they survive despite us. So that's, you got to admire that. Similarly, her art is inspired by local neighbourhoods around us. And with the artist's eye, she watches out for everyday scenes of life in the Comox Valley with a new human perspective, as opposed to the grandeur of mountains, trees and water. Because I'm in Courtney and it's quite an urban setting in a way, although it's surrounded by a lot of wilderness, but the actual town and the area uh, is that I'm kind of interested in depicting the street scenes, right? So stuff that I wouldn't usually have done before. Seeing it from my, my, my eye, my version of it. So that's bringing in lots of colour and light is huge because you get amazing light here in the evenings and especially west. And it's tempting to look beyond that to, to the more obvious beautiful things like the glacier and the, the forests, which are stunning. But I'm trying to find that beauty in the urban landscape, which there is, right? And magic, magic's important. Try and bring an element of that into it. Mary Gorman, artist, recently chose to settle in the Comox Valley, drawn by the vibrant arts community here. Mary hails from Dublin, Ireland, and sees things here with fresh Irish eyes. I started with graphic design, which I liked, but it really wasn't me. Um, it didn't have the freedom of the fine art that I felt anyway. So I went into fine art and did painting. Yeah. In Dublin? In so Dublin, yeah. 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 So I, and in art college, I painted a lot of very abstract art, which I do, I love abstract art too. Um, but I, t I tend to have moved away from that a bit now. Having studied fine art in Dublin, she developed a career as a mural painter and trompe-l'oeil artiste, one that uses realistic images to create an optical illusion in perspective. I try not to use too much white paint. The glazes, I think, really can bring out the depth of something. By day, Mary works as a care aide, caring for elderly in Cumberland. Because my art, well, is kind of introspective, one tends to go into oneself when you're kind of working through that process of creating. Um, the care work is very much out there. You're working with a team, so I love that. I love that balance between the two. You know, it complements it. Plus, you're working with people and helping people, which is nice to do anyway. She was thrilled to find studio space with other artists at Art Alchemy to wind down and explore her passion for art in the evenings. So you told me you hadn't worn a dress for a long time. <laughs> Tell us about that. Tell you about <laughs> well, when I was in art college, maybe because I was, you know, around my tribe, right? The art and artists are very expressive. I used to wear long skirts and yeah, lots of jewellery and kind of pirate like, you know, because in art college you can it's almost like costume. You can, you know, you just express yourself through your clothes. Watch out. Like the crows you may see more trompe art of the life of the Comox Valley. This is what I want to do, this is my passion, and really push it now, you know. For Artsbeat, I am Kate Brown in the Comox Valley.